Agent York, finally you're awake. How long have I been out? A whole day, uh, plus ten hours or so. I wanted to challenge you to a game, but uh, uh, you were asleep. Emily, which room is Emily in? Emily? What, she hurt too? She hasn't come into the hospital. What? I told Kaysen to bring her here. Kaysen? Well, Kaysen came. I mean, he's the one who brought you here. Uh, which reminds me. He asked me to give you this. What is it? I don't know. He just asked me to hand it to you after you woke up. Anyway, you solved the case, right? Hey, do you want to play some chess? Sorry. I'll have to take a rain check. I have an urgent issue I need to attend to, and I need to leave the hospital. <sighs> Zack, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> and finally you arrive. George is dead. You've got nowhere left to run. George! Oh, right, George! <laughs> he was a funny one. I gave him a toy locket, and he was so impressed, <laughs> so moved. <laughs> but he wasn't very intense. He was born in this town, you see, and, and it took him too long to discover the Red Seeds. Binding down people with rules is a sign of small mindedness, and that was what George represented in life. <laughs> I'm taking Emily. Oh, but I can't allow that now, can I? York, you left her to me, in my care, remember? I told you to come with us, didn't I? You must remember that. But you didn't come. You chose your job over the woman that you love. Casey! This chit-chat is over. Over? <laughs> Indeed it is. My fun with Emily ended just a moment ago. It was a fantastic moment. <laughs> like eating a full course dinner that ends with the ultimate dessert. <laughs> I fed her a fake story about my past and she took in every word. <laughs> Cut out your nonsense. I told you, no more talk. There you go, York. That's right. <laughs> Feel the hate boiling from the bottom of your stomach. That's what makes little men create such great and amazing history. <laughs> Just like tiny ants that make giant ant hills. <laughs> You know, I just had dessert, and yet I'm already hungry again. <laughs> no wonder why I keep failing at keeping a diet. Kaysen, stop! The next one will pierce you between your eyes. <laughs> York! Emily, it's me. I'm here. Don't worry. Everything will be fine now. York? Is that you? Oh, thank God. York, I... Emily, no! That isn't me! York... York... Emily! 
It's okay, Emily. Hurry, come over here. We need to get you to the hospital. I, I can't. I, I can't go to you. I've... I've been soiled. No, that's not true. You have a heart that can't be soiled. No matter what happens to your body, you are still yourself. York. Getting these saplings to sprout requires a, a certain technique. <laughs> what do you think? Artistic, isn't it? It's like a surrealistic painting. <laughs> York, shoot me. It's too late. Once it's like this, I can't do anything to stop it. Please, darling, shoot me. I'd rather die. If you love me, let me die. <laughs> Times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. Yes, I, I, I couldn't do it. However, you can. When the time comes, and you have to make that decision, make the right one. Okay, Zack? I saw you, Zack. Hey, Zack. 
that. It's okay. I'm here. I'm with you. I'll be with you always. We can get through this together. Who are you? My name is York. Me and you. We'll always be together. Okay, Zach? I'm you. And you are me. Now, give me your hand. I remember. I traded places with York. York, the other me, my other personality. Zack, please, please shoot. Kill me. York, what should I do? Tell me what to do, York. There are some things in this world that must be extracted, no matter what. Even if that means losing someone that you love. I can't do it. I can't kill Emily. I'm sorry, Zack. Stop. Emily! Ladies and gentlemen, and now, the grand finale! <laughs> Emily, what have you done? Zack, I wasn't used as soil at all. You're beautiful most beautiful person I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you, Zack. I wanted to be with you.